Well, you know, being that I like to paint pop culture and pop figures, you know, I painted Frida Kahlo and I paint Geronimo and the Dalai Lama and Nelson Mandela. I've always loved freedom fighters and people that have fought for their rights and, and heroic type uh, world, world leaders. So naturally, when something happens in our culture or, or uh, politics or history that's going on, I'm kind of led to, to being inspired to paint, painting that. Now the story that really brings the connection to me is that my grandfather from South Philadelphia, his name is Francis De Francesco. And then I remembered, I don't always think of it, I'm born October 4th, 1967, which happens to be St. Francis Day. And my mother's name is Angel. And my beautiful wife's name is Angela. And her father's name happens to be Angelo. The nanny of our daughter Francesca's name is Angelica also. And now our son is due the week that the Pope arrives, and we're thinking, thinking, maybe he's Francesco. So I thought about all this, and I said, yeah, this is perfect. This, this is not happening uh, in any karmic way. It's, it's meant to be, and I better go paint the Pope. So this is a prayer for peace. And I captured it in, in like lightning speed time. I was done the piece in, in literally two sittings. The masterwork that I really hope becomes an iconic portrait of Pope Francis, not only for our event and to celebrate and be cherished that he's coming to uh, Philadelphia and the United States, but I believe the portrait uh, represents the world, and I believe it can become an icon of his legacy. I caught lightning in a bottle with this piece, and then I said to myself, well, I have to make more, and that's what led to now six pieces, and I kind of think it's enough and I call it the Faces of Francis collection. There's so much turmoil in the world right now, but I also think there's a tremendous amount of beauty in, in, in the world now. And we're so blessed that he's coming to uh, our city, you know, the, the home of our country, and it's beautiful. So, you know, that's the story behind it.